Hi guys. Uh, so in my last video, I uploaded a video about Farlight 84 low spec gameplay or low system gameplay. Uh, I saw the comments and I see a lot of people are asking me how I, how did I play the game on my system or on lower systems. See, I can see my specs here. Um, here is my spec is a Intel Core i3 3217U, and I get only four gigabytes of RAM. And the graphics I'm using is just a built-in HD 4000 or Intel HD 4000. Is my system right here? It's just a motherboard of the laptop. See the hard drive and the fans connected with the monitor. So, uh -oh. so today I'm just gonna show you how I lower the graphic add uh, the graphics into the lowest because in in the game the only option you have is lowest low 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 and think that but still it's, it still looks very clear and the graph the my graphics still can handle it so today I'm gonna show you how to boost your frames or FPS the game First, everything first you're gonna do is go to file explorer and make sure you enabled hidden items so just go first in the view and then check the hidden items Now let's go to local C or where you installed the game. Users. Mine I'm gonna go to my Acer it depends on what the brand of your computer. I'm gonna go to Acer. Um, go to app data. Local. And solar land go to saved and config and windows client now find the game user settings double click here now we have the access for the additional uh, graphic settings for the game First, I'm gonna set my resolution quality to 50 or 50%. 50 if you go lower to 30 or 25, it will look very blurry and you can see the enemy in far away. So, 50 is I think, the balance here for um, frame rate and visual. Now, I need to disable this. Yeah, view distance until uh, leasing shadows and other so let's go I'm gonna um, set it whatever you want just for me I'm gonna set it to zero or you can set it to one but for me I'm gonna I'm gonna set it to zero because Intel HD graphics can handle it just disabling it all I'm gonna set it to zero Now here in the resolution in the game you can't change your resolution. So here you can change it here. Only you can uh, edit is this too. Resolution size X and Y. So 
you'll be questioning what should I put or what should I set for my monitor so just go to your desktop pet clip and go to display settings go to display resolution you can pick this to 800 by 600 or 24 1024 by 768 or you can still now uh, whatever you want here just lower okay. now go to resolution size I pick 1024 by 768 24 Go file and save. Now go open Farlight. just gonna skip it here I have another trick to uh, um, steam and as you know steam is using a lot of RAM so also applied in my video about I didn't show you how I disabled steam in the background so you can comment comment if you want to make a tutorial about this steam not running in the background yes i will do it i might close the steam first this line well, yes the game is now opening Now in the game, so as you can see, the original game, uh, in the original settings, see it's regular now. As you can see, it has a jug edges, means I successfully. Disable the anti aliasing and other graphics effects. Now, um, you can do is the battle royale for one game. Test how many FPS it has.
at your first game will have a some minor FPS drop in in your second game it will runs normal Now, at first it will lag now, it's playing normally now. I'm gonna wait around 5 minutes and then they're okay. having some frame drops because uh, my internet is very slow Stellar wind and the time scope. Enemy attack. Reloading. What's the rush? Oh man, I'm hit. It's not looking good. I'm gonna skip your end. Yeah. See, I have internet problems. It's not from the game. It's just... Restoring shields. Just you. Uh, using medkit. Should take effect soon. When I disabled a um, Steam in the background, I, still, I have a at least 60 FPS. And just comment down below if you want to see that video or if you want to make that video. So yeah, I end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys.